is a wonderful person. I was lucky enough to have her as a professor when I was at Drury in undergrad. She's a professor of English and writing over at Drury University. She's a multi-time published author. She's a really wonderful human. Uh, she's going to talk to you about zines. What a zine is, a zine is short for magazine, but it's all about independent publishing. So, um, zinesters are people, they like to be called zinesters apparently, I just learned this today. Zinesters are people who uh, are kind of do-it-yourselfers, get your own words out there, they're creative, a lot of them are artists and writers, and they do self-printing. We had uh, the paper plane mobile zine library here this weekend, showing people how to make zines, and that's what Joe's going to talk to you about tonight, is the paper airplane mobile zine library. They have meetings about events and doing zine publication and sometimes they just meet up and read zines. Um, you can follow them on Facebook to find out about new events and upcoming events that they're doing. So the paper airplane mobile zine library, Joe Van Arkel is here to talk to us about that I hope. Joe? There you are. Okay. <laughs> So hi, I've got two um, fantastic people who are also the Paper of Zine Library. I want to thank Russ and Pam for hosting this event. It was fantastic to be around all these creative people all weekend long, and it was good for the soul, and I think good for the spirit of Springfield, too. This is Cassie Fox. This is Hannah Sheehan. They are helping me with the Zine Library, and they are putting wind in the sails of the project that we've got going with the Zine Library. So you can see up here, we met meet regularly at the Rose on Yale House, which is newly restored on the Drury uh, University campus. Drury University is the host institution for the Paper Airplane Zine Library, but we also try very hard to have a broad-based um, uh, invitation to the whole community to be involved in that. So these are some samples of our zines that we have spread out on our table. The library is right now a mobile library. We have about 300 holdings, so we're tiny but we're growing. That's as compared to the paper cut zine library in Cambridge, Massachusetts, which has 20,000. So we've got a ways to go with that. Um, I'm going to read from the first page of a zine that we created about zine libraries. Zine, as uh, Megan said, was short for magazine. A zine plants seeds in the mind. Zines get in your bones and zine leaves tracks. Zines can be about anything. Um, so Puzzle was started in 2010. It was started by myself and by one of my students who is now a graduate student at Missouri State University. Her name is um, Jen Johnson. And she was one of the ones who was instrumental in, we got zines donated from all over the country and uh, people with zines were, were submitting them to us from, from everywhere. Um, zining is about things that include using old style technology like letterpress, it also includes using new or blending in new technology um, in terms of you can make a zine using Illustrator or you can use a pencil and uh, some watercolor if you want to with that. Um, uh, as Megan said, it's about independent publishing and uh, it's often embedded in that is social activism. And so many of the, the subjects that are related to zines and zining have to do with uh, environment, with um, uh, human rights issues. Um, we take for granted, I think, sometimes in our country that we can um, distribute zines and speak freely, and other countries can't, and zines are an important medium for that. I'm going to turn it over next to Hannah. Hi, I'm Hannah Sheehan, and uh, I first discovered zines in a little town called Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and the zine library that was inside the public library there was the coolest thing in the entire town. Um, and I got involved with that and started putting them on Etsy, started trading with people, and then started teaching workshops at Southern Girls Rock and Roll Camp every year. And um, since then I developed a passion for sharing this medium, which is really what it is. It is a form unto itself with the rest of the world. Um, and one of the things that we're doing uh, with Pazzle and with the Springfield Zine Club is that we're trying to have workshops. Uh, we've been out here this weekend showing people how to fold a single page zine where it costs 10 cents to copy it and you get 8 pages out of one piece of paper. It's really cool. 
Uh, we've been doing some related paper arts things like weathergrams, which are really fun little leave behind sort of guerrilla art items. Uh, and then we were, you saw the story card earlier, that's a letter press card where you write a five sentence story on the back of it too. So we're trying to branch out into other areas where everybody can get involved with this. And in addition to that, we're also meeting and reading zines together, which is really the best part for me, because I get to read other people's zines that I haven't collected yet, but I plan to. Um, and then one of the other things that we're working on right now is getting the zine library truly mobile, and that involves raising money for a cargo bike. And full disclosure, it's my cargo bike, and I want them to buy it from me, so it's not in my garage anymore. But once they do, it's going to be really cool and customizable. And then on top of that, we're looking at a, a button machine and a bunch of other materials that we can use for workshops and for events like this. And next year, we would like to host a zine festival that would include zinesters from everywhere, zinesters from Springfield, and then from everywhere else that we can get them, which we're hoping will be right here at Idea X Factory. That would be cool. I'd like that. Um, that's about all I've got. I think that was six slides, right? Okay, it's Cassie's turn. I don't know how long we have left, so I am going to start by reading from our collaborative zine we put together a couple of weeks ago. Paper Airplane Zine Library, Zine Club. You can be a part of this. Zinesters are people who make zines, want to share knowledge, upend the status quo, rage against the machine, or maybe just write about their lives and give copies to their friends. Can see uncommon solutions to problems, want to experiment in, with words and images to create messages, want to reach out to others in a unique way, care about paper and ink, wear little black nets on their hair, aren't afraid to commit things to paper, create community, consume life, sentimental ink slingers. We have a little bit of time left. So uh, I got into zines, I became a vegan, I was looking for new recipes so I found these little handmade recipe booklets people were putting together, they happened to be called zines. Then I uh, went to St. Louis, went to a comic book store and I found handmade comic booklets. They were zines. So basically uh, just going around and finding out that people put together their own handmade self-published booklets. I was just awed by this concept and uh, you can find a lot of them on Etsy. People have personal distros. If you go online and just search for zine distros, you will find all kinds of zines. There are comic book zines, there are cook zines, there are social activist zines, um, color book zines, cat zines, all kinds of zines. Okay, I'm reading also from our collaborative zine. Uh, this is the page about why indie publishing is important. And these are all answers that we solicited from members of our group to submit to us about why these are important. And I have just enough time left. Indie publishing is important because it surrenders to no one. It can take us to the outer edges. The government can't data mine. The power is in your hands, ultimate creative freedom. It keeps speech free in America. You are guaranteed to get an authentic voice. It's just so free, nearly impossible to shut it up or down. It allows individuals the freedom to produce and distribute their own work on their own terms, and because there are bigger things happening in the world than what advertisers want us to see.